Hello all, welcome in this class. Today we will start a new chapter, chapter number 7 and that is allergy. In this chapter you will study about the allergy, allergens and prevention. So here you know that many people are allergic to many things around them such as weather, flowers, smell and so on. So this happens because these things are foreign for the body and the body develops immune response to these foreign substances that are not typically harmful to the body. Now our body's job is to keep us healthy by fighting harmful substances and it does not here your body does this job by attacking some things that could put our body at risk therefore depending upon the allergen our body's response could vary from inflammation sneezing coughing and so on our body's immune system actually actually our body's immune system typically adjusts to the environment as pollen grains from flowers should be encountered by our body as harmless however in people with pollen allergies the immune system perceives it as foreign or outside invader that threatens the body and thus attacks it okay now next thing is the foreign substances are called the antigens and the antigens that produce allergic reactions in our bodies with whom they interact that are called the allergens okay difference so you know that different type of allergens are there so different allergens can enter the body through different roots such as mouth nose skin for example pollen may enter through nose and mouth and sunlight affects the skin now types of allergens so you know that there are various types of allergens so allergens can be of two types food allergens and non-food allergens the food allergy is an immune response that occurs soon after we eat a certain type of food and food allergens include food products such as eggs overripe fruits dairy products seafood etc and the possible treatment for food allergies has been found yet and it can be avoided by avoiding the causative food allergens now next thing is non food allergies include pollen and just insect bites and these things are the non food allergens and here ant bite is also example of this and the injections such as penicillin uses for that and entry route of allergens that how allergens enter in your body so allergens can enter in human body through three main routes that are mouth either by nose or skin so first is through the mouth so you know that allergens can enter in the body by ingestion through the mouth and the allergy caused in the mouth is called oral allergy now the main symptoms of oral allergy include itchiness in mouth scratchy throat swelling in the lips mouth tongue and another parts our second tract is that is nose and the allergens can enter through the nose during the breathing and the allergic reactions caused in the nose that is known as nasal energy the main allergens included pollen grains dust saliva mold and cigarette smoke etc and the main symptoms of nasal allergy is sneezing coughing nose congestion etc now third is skin so we know that when allergens 
come in contact against the skin it can cause skin allergies and the allergies caused in skin are called the skin allergies some allergens that can cause allergy include soaps detergents contains cosmetics and chemicals etc skin allergies can cause redness itchiness blisters etc on your skin now third is here seasonal allergy next one is types of allergy in types of allergy that is seasonal or perennial energy so first is seasonal allergy so you know that allergies that occur in a particular season that are called the seasonal allergies example pollen allergies occurs mostly during the spring season and this allergy are also known as hay fever this is known as hay fever okay so hay fever it is a seasonal allergy now seasonal allergies often occur on one set of different seasons and summer and spring are two seasons in which most people are prone to allergy during spring season pollen grains travel in the air and affect people sensitive to them example people suffering from cold and asthma are more prone to the seasonal allergies during the spring and during summer season sunlight is one of the season for energy allergy who are sensitive to it now molds grow in rainy seasons you know at humid place and the spores released by molds they also can cause severe allergies in some people now next thing is perennial energy so you know that allergies that may occur any times in the year or remains throughout the year that are called the perennial allergies for example dust or food allergies and allergies due to dust are examples of perennial allergy as dust is present in an year all of the all the year dust is present everywhere and these allergies happen to people who are sensitive to it now next thing is here test your understanding you will do these answers with the help of given notes next is dust you know they suffer from the people who is suffering from dust allergy they suffer from perennial allergies every time they come in contact to them now symptoms of allergic reactions so you know allergic symptoms are seen in people whose immune system overreact on an allergens or who are extremely sensitive to the allergens and common allergic symptoms are sneezing blocked or runny nose coughing red itchy or watery eyes wheezing and sinus pain redness of skin and rashes swelling of the tongue throat or lips eyes eyelids and other body parts and difficulty in breathing asthma or chest pain and another is vomiting pain in abdomen and weakness dizziness or fainting and many time allergic reactions trigger a life threatening reaction that is called the anaphylaxis it is very important and this anaphylaxis causes the immune system to release a lot of chemicals that can cause a person to go in shock known as anaphylactic shock okay here symptoms of anaphylactic shocks that are the include sudden drops in blood pressure and rapid and weak pulse skin rashes nausea and vomiting now next heading is preventive measures so this preventive measures you will study in our next video